the mayonnaise is much more important than the macaroni. But I guess mayonnaise salad doesn't sound appetizing. So we had to go with mac salad. Hey, what's up guys? Sheldon here from Hawaii, Tin Roof Restaurant. Well, mochiko chicken is our fried chicken of Hawaii. Mochiko refers to the flour that we use and it's rice flour. It gets extra crispy, but it also gets this nice little chewiness to the chicken that is very distinctive to it. Uh, we're gonna be serving it with uh, ulu mac salad, an aioli over the top, and a sweet miso sauce. We're gonna start off with marinating the chicken. Sake, a little bit of shoyu or soy sauce. Kochujang, that's gonna give a little bit of spice, but just a nice little coating itself too. Right off the bat, Japanese, Korean, influence and that's what's cool about the cuisine of Hawaii it's all these different cultures all coming together mix matching it's uh, the most delicious food in the world <laughs> I'm gonna add my sugar to eggs auntie said I think I'm gonna put some eggs in it and we've been following auntie's path ever since with Hawaii uh, the recipes I think everything just kind of came together because of what the ingredients that was available. A lot of the recipes goes based off of memories from back home. I'm gonna slice up some ginger. It doesn't need to be perfect, I'm just gonna smash it up just like that and that's gonna go right into the bowl. We're gonna put some cornstarch, the namesake of the dish. This is a mochiko flour. Uh, just makes this really, really cool crust on it. Everything's in the bowl. We actually want it kind of thick and that's consistent you want. At just like very loose, warmed up peanut butter. I've got some boneless chicken thighs. Leave your skin on, people. Make fried chicken better again. Listen very closely. <laughs> and there you have it. Your mochiko battered chicken. That's gonna live in the refrigerator. A minimum of four hours, but you could go up to overnight. On to macaroni salad. Potatoes. And macaroni is better, I like it. I'm gonna bring it up to a boil, and that's gonna go until we can pierce a knife right through it. Here is a mistake that a lot of people do when they make macaroni salad. You keep al dente for your spaghetti, pasta, Italian things. Macaroni salad, you're supposed to forget about that macaroni until it's like completely falling apart and very I was gonna say flaccid. I guess I just did say flaccid. <laughs> it should be overcooked. You don't want no al dente macaroni salad. I'm gonna put some eggs in it too, to hard boil. I'm gonna put some carrots in there. My macaroni is now perfectly overcooked. Cool, so knife goes all the way through. The skin has started to peel like that. Comes off pretty easily. Peeled potatoes. We're gonna let everything cool off, that's sitting away. So we're gonna make some sauces. One of the sauces is our su miso. We're gonna use this to drizzle and to glaze the fried chicken af after it gets out of the fryer. Just a little bit of sake, some midden, a whole lot of sugar. I love when I give people some recipes, some of our recipes and they did trip out of how much sugar <laughs> that we put in it. And it's like, you wonder why it tastes so good. We're gonna let that come to a boil. We're gonna just let it reduce just a little bit, but not by much. And then we'll fold in some miso. The other sauce, kochujang aioli. In Hawaii we say it's with a K, kochujang. Hellman's, best foods. It needs to be one brand and one brand only. Best foods or Hellman's. You ask any, any person from Hawaii like what mayonnaise it is, best foods, man. all day. Our kochujang, just a little bit of sugar. Very simple and straightforward. and that's the color that you want. That has been going. You just add some uh, shiro miso or some white miso to it. And then I'm gonna let that cool all the way down. The last thing that goes on top of our mochiko chicken is our kaki mochi furukake mix. If you ever never did put furukake on popcorn, I just filled you in. You're welcome. Furukake, kaki mochi, soy glaze, rice crackers that is so much umami and so much texture. A little bit of fried garlic on top of that. That gets all mixed together and that's gonna be our topping. Back to mac salad duty, our potatoes. So they're soft but they're not like mushing apart. We want a little bit of texture in there. Our perfectly overcooked macaroni is gonna go into the bowl, followed by 
our potatoes, our hard boiled eggs. I just like to do them in my hand like this. Garlic salt, or if you don't have garlic salt, you use some garlic powder and salt together. It is a whole bowl of mayonnaise. All of this will make it into that. All right, mayonnaise is in there. A few cracks of, of pepper, mix it all in. Let that chill. Max salad needs to go to a curing process while well, it lets it sit and everything all kind of gets together. So we're gonna put it away into a cool spot. Back to the main part. Our chicken has been marinating. Here we have a little bit of cornstarch, AP flour, traditional fried chicken vibe uh, going on. And then we're gonna season it a little bit of garlic salt and garlic powder. We got our oil warming up to 325 degrees. Just gotta make sure that really gets up to that temperature so that we can make this perfect crispy crust. Now we're gonna take our chicken, I'm gonna try to pick up all that batter, get it all into the crevices, and that's gonna go. You can let this sit for just a few minutes, just a little bit. And what that does, it lets the flour kind of hydrate, and then you can get a little bit more flour into it. It's pretty cool, you can see the batter, it's all sticking to it, and then you see all these crevices, and that's just gonna make all these crispy bits that's gonna be really, really delicious. Let it go in. Don't wanna crowd it too much. We want our oil to cool down too quick. And that's gonna take six to eight minutes or so. That's the color that you want. Our mochiko chicken is not like, it doesn't look like a traditional one, but it's kind of a blending of of southern style to, to local style mochiko chicken. I think a lot of times when people are frying things, this is like a moment where they forget to let things drip properly or they let it sit in the oil or they don't let it crisp up, but that's very important. What do you say we put this all together? <laughs> I'll chop up some green onions uh, just to say that we have vegetables on the plate. On the bottom of all our bowls, at tin roof, it's usually uh, some white steamed rice here on the bottom. You can hear that crisp on top of it. Let's start off with our sauces. You can put it into squeeze bottles or pastry bags. Kochujang aioli. Bring in the drizzle back, people. Don't be afraid to drizzle. Get a little sprinkle over the top. That has the fried garlic, so that's gonna perfume the whole thing. Touch a green onion. Oh. And the crowning jewel. Tin roof style mochiko chicken. What? There it is. Sweet, a little spice, a whole lot of crunch, a lot of helmets. Fried chicken is such a soulful dish, and the fact that Hawaii has a fried chicken dish that we call our own, I forgot how delicious this is. For the recipe, click the link below, or we'll come and check us out at Tin Roof. I was gonna finger bang it, but <laughs> I don't wanna be doing that. <laughs> Get that on camera for your finger. I did it. <laughs>